In the world of excavating, where stories are carved in earth and legacy runs deep, we sat down with Cheryl Legrand and Corey Otto with Legrand Excavating, a tale of retirement, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of a business cherished for decades. In a poignant moment, Cheryl reflects on retiring from her husband's beloved business. Well, I think it's time to retire. Um, it was a little bit of a sad thing for me because this was my husband's business and he loved it, but still will be in business till probably till spring, possibly summer, but sold some of the bigger pieces that we're no longer doing anymore. Some of these pieces we haven't used for, you know, several months. So I do think he expected it to be retirement time for me. A um, little bit of sadness, but things went so nice that you know, it's always probably sad for anybody to retire and give up something that your spouse had done his whole life. In a powerful testament to change, Cheryl and Corey share their journey using Purple Wave Auction. Well, Corey and I kind of um, investigated a few of them, looked at the range, and like I said, highly recommendations. We researched it for a little while, and as soon as we called Scott and things got, things got moving quite fast, I don't think you folks let grass grow under your feet. Like Cheryl mentioned before, uh, things went really fast. Between Scott and Jason, they did a very good job. Uh, I had to get a lot of this stuff together. I thought it was gonna be overwhelming, but it really wasn't. The amount of stuff that he was able to put together and get going was actually be as fantastic. It was really surprising, honestly. Corey discusses Purple Wave Auction's meticulous data capture and preparation process. But when they were out here, the amount of photos, the amount of documentation they did was unbelievable, honestly. Uh, I know they were going to do a lot of photos, but you start looking at some of them. I mean, we had, I think, 45 items, and each one had 100 plus photos, some a little less, some a little more. Even to the point where we were getting behind on cleaning some stuff up, and Jason and Scott both, they ran in a power washer out here helping us wash equipment, getting it ready to get pictures taken, and that was really, that was really impressive. Amidst the upbeat ambiance, Cheryl and Corey recount the triumph of the open inspection day, a resounding success. I had some compliments. Uh, Purple Wave brought in a very nice meal, had quite a few people show up out here and just walk around. It was kind of a joyous thing for something that was, could have been a not so joyful thing. Corey worked hard to get this stuff ready and Purple Wave helped us and it was it was a big day. We were expecting after the 8th for the 12th to go very good. Yeah, so the open auction, uh, that went very well in my opinion. Uh, the, there was a lot of feedback. So before even that, I was getting a lot of phone calls, people asking a lot of questions. And for that, I don't know about everybody else, but I really liked that because I could explain what it was and it would made, I felt like it would make a buyer's experience way better. Um, you know, on my end, if I can answer some of those questions. Uh, then when it come to the 8th of December, uh, the outcome was very well. Uh, all the people from, I mean, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Kansas City, South Dakota, it was very impressive. In this final moment, Cheryl envisions a winter retreat, a new chapter in retirement, and exciting possibilities ahead. Well, kind of hoping to go south in the wintertime a little bit. Have done that off and on for 30 years, but have never gone down there and spent a winter down there or anything. And maybe, maybe not this year, but maybe next year I'll be able to do that. And I think Corey can kind of handle what we'll have left here. Purple Wave Auction would like to extend a sincere thank you to Cheryl Legrand for entrusting us with her husband's legacy. Here's to celebrating Cheryl's well-deserved retirement.